Hey guys, I'm Saurav and in this video, let's talk about 5 best image editing software that you can use in PC or Mac to edit your images. So if you're unhappy with the software that you're using for editing images or if you want to know about more software or if you want to change your editing workflow, I recommend to watch the video till the end and I'm sure it will help you. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So the first software we're going to talk about is Adobe Lightroom. Now Adobe Lightroom is a very, very powerful image editing software. Adobe Lightroom can be used to edit raw files, to edit JPEGs. Let's see what we are talking about. So here is, it's a raw file, as you can see .nef, that's a raw file from a Nikon. So you can extract details, you can play with the whites and blacks, you can adjust the overall exposure, you can change the contrast and you can also play with colors. So this is the basic post-processing that you can do in Lightroom. Again, you have much more advanced tools like you have curves adjustment layer, you also have graduated ND filters. Remember, this is not a very in-depth video about Lightroom, this is just uh, a video where I cover all the softwares and you get a basic idea of what this software is about, right? So in Adobe Lightroom, as you can see, very quickly I'm able to transform the image and I'm able to bring all the details and the colors that weren't present in the raw before post-processing, right? So you can also sharpen the images. Again, the sharpening algorithm that Lightroom uses is again very good. You can have tons of features as you can see. And if you're new to Lightroom, it might seem a bit confusing, but the thing is you have to practice, okay? Lightroom is not very difficult. The overall user experience is very, very good and very easy to understand. So if you're new to Lightroom, I have a separate video on how to edit images in Lightroom, but the point is it's so easy that with just one or couple of weeks of practice, you will be able to edit images in Lightroom and you will see that you are able to edit the images in a very, very fluid manner. The overall workflow is very smooth and the editing capabilities is just amazing. You can see with just couple of minutes of editing, I'm able to transform the image from this to this. So yeah, it's a huge difference. You also have different presets here available. Again, you can use any of these presets, then you can tweak the look according to you, like the look you want. So it all depends what kind of look do you want, what kind of editing do you require. But for most of the image editing, for all the color corrections, for extracting all the details, Lightroom is one of the best softwares that in the market right now. So if you're new to editing, I would suggest use the Adobe Lightroom because it's a very, very good software. The next software that we're going to see is Adobe Photoshop. Now, Adobe Photoshop is a very different software, okay? Adobe Photoshop is a very advanced image editing software. Many people ask me this question, sort of what do you use? Do you use Lightroom or Photoshop? My answer to them is I use both of the software because both are very different and I use both the software for different purpose. Let's see what I'm talking about. So if you want to open a raw file with Adobe Photoshop, it directly doesn't open the raw file, okay? You will see camera raw. You cannot open a raw file with Photoshop if you don't have the Camera Raw plugin installed. Camera Raw is again similar to Lightroom. It doesn't look like Lightroom. The interface of Lightroom is much better. But overall, the set of features that you have in Camera Raw is very, very similar to Adobe Lightroom, right? So once you are done with all the basic color corrections and exposure corrections, you can open the image and it will open in Photoshop as a layer, okay? So Photoshop, as I said, is a very advanced software. Let's see what we are talking about. So as I said, Photoshop has tons of features, way more than what Lightroom has. And Photoshop is meant for different kind of image editing, not only for basic corrections, but also for different things. Like you can also add text, okay? Which you can't do in Adobe Lightroom. You can uh, maybe, select certain things with the quick selection tool and then you can only affect that particular layer. So for example, if I want to brighten up only the foreground and not the sky, then I can do that. Now, I'm not going to teach how I do all these things in this video because that will take too much amount of time, but you get the overall idea, right? It's meant for advanced image processing. Like, for example, suppose you want to add soft glow. 
what you can do is you can select a color you can just paint it change the blending mode to soft light and reduce the opacity and you get that soft glow the purpose of me showing you what adobe photoshop can do is very different okay from image editing perspective adobe photoshop has tons of features you have camera raw where you can edit the raw files and you can do a lot of things okay there are great photoshop channels on youtube you can do a lot of things on photoshop like image manipulation you can remove objects you can add objects you can add layers so it depends on what kind of image editing do you want okay if you only want color corrections if you only want to extract the details from a raw file use adobe lightroom i don't think you need adobe photoshop but if you want to add watermark if so I have a watermark so if you want to add watermark you can do it in Lightroom okay so all these things like it's very difficult to do them in Photoshop or oh, sorry I meant Lightroom but it's very easy to do it in Photoshop right Photoshop is a very advanced software again as I said and it will do the job but Photoshop takes time okay Photoshop is not an easy software to learn you will need practice if you're new again Lightroom will be a very easy software to learn but Photoshop will take some practice and you have to spend some time learning all these different features all these different tool sets that's present here so yes if you are willing to spend the time learn Photoshop also because Photoshop is again one of the best image editing software the next software that we're going to talk about is Google Nick so Google Nick I'm not using it as a completely different software but but I'm using it as a plugin in Adobe Photoshop. Google Nick was a paid software but now it is free and the link will be in the description you can download it from there. So for using Google Nick you have to install it in Photoshop and use it as a plugin. You can also use different softwares and use that as a plugin but I use Adobe Photoshop. So Google Nick has again various features like you have Define 2. Define 2 is used for sharpening in this video i will show you color fx pro 4 because that's what i use most of the times but you have a lot of things you have hdr fx pro for making hdr images you have silver fx pro that's a very very good software for making black and white images if you want to sharpen your images and if you want more control sharpener pro is a great tool so it has tons of tools let me show what color fx pro 4 does so once you open the google nick i mean the color fx pro you will see there are certain tabs and there are lot and lots of features. So let's talk about the favorite features I have. You can select any favorite feature by just uh, clicking on the star button and those features will be uh, visible in the favorite tab. Pro Contrast in Google Nick is a very very effective tool for giving different types of contrast okay you not only have a single contrast slider like you had in photoshop and lightroom i mean in camera raw and lightroom but here you can do a lot of things with pro contrast you can again use classical soft focus for just giving it a soft look so i'm not explaining you all the features about the software but i'm telling you what all things you can do for what purpose can you use this software google nick is not used for editing raw files but once you are done with basic color correction of raw files you can then use google nick to add all these different kind of effects to add different kind of contrast right to give that look which you can't do with adobe photoshop and lightroom okay google nick is very very advanced when compared to photoshop and lightroom to produce all these effects google nick now has been stopped developing from the google team and that's sad but still google nick is one of the best software that i found in the market right now it's very helpful to uh, again quickly give it a very dramatic look with just certain clicks we can transform the image to something very very amazing so google nick yes it's a very good tool and if you're not using it i don't know why you're not you should use it so if you're not using google nick go ahead and download because google nick has very again amazing features like color effects pro and hdr effects as i said in the video before and with just simple clicks you can transform the image so just see with one single plugin that's color effects pro 4 located inside the google nick i'm able to bring out much more details and make the image look more natural so i hope 
you understood what Photoshop is capable of, what Google Nick is capable of, and what Lightroom is capable of. Now let's see the next software in the list, that is the Capture One Pro. Now Capture One Pro is again a very, very similar software to Adobe Lightroom. It is also a software which will help you to extract details, which will help you to extract the colors and edit your raw files and JPEGs. But sometimes I feel Capture One Pro is slightly faster and better in terms of quality as compared to Lightroom, okay? Because Lightroom has not been updated since a long time and I personally have shifted to Capture One Pro from Lightroom now and I feel Capture One Pro is able to produce better quality results. Let's see what we are talking about. So this is again an unedited image and this is how it looks in Lightroom. So if you compare the original look of the raw file in Lightroom and in Capture One Pro, you can see the colors are a bit more saturated and it looks a bit better in Capture One straight out of the camera. Again, you can achieve the similar looks with both the softwares, don't get mistaken, but out of the camera, the raw files look better in Capture One Pro. So again, in Capture One Pro, you have all these shadow sliders, you have all the highlight sliders, you have contrast, saturation, you have the save, curves, adjustment layer, I mean curves layer. You have a lot of things in Capture One Pro like you had in Adobe Photoshop. You have sharpening tools, you have again halo suppression that's not present in Lightroom. So I really like the halo suppression that's present in Capture One Pro and that's not present in Adobe Photoshop as well and not in Lightroom. You also have color balance so you can change the colors as you want. Uh, I'm not doing that of course but I'm just say saying you have color balance and you have all these options that you don't have in Adobe Lightroom, okay? Color correction is very, very superior in Capture One Pro as compared to Adobe Lightroom. Now, this is my personal preference, okay? You might like Lightroom better than Capture One Pro, but I still feel for professional use, Capture One Pro is slightly better than Adobe Lightroom, okay? As I said, Capture One Pro is a similar software to Lightroom, but Lightroom is a software which is very easy to understand because the UI, the user interface is very, very easy and very, very nice. So, whereas in Capture One Pro, it might seem a bit overwhelming because the settings are the same, but the UI is a bit different. So if you're new to editing, I would suggest directly don't go to Capture One Pro, learn Adobe Lightroom. And if you feel Adobe Lightroom is not giving you the results, you can try Capture One Pro too. The next software that we're going to talk about is Luminar. Luminar was exclusive for Mac, but now the beta version for Windows has been released and soon the full version will be out. And I have tried Luminar for the last week and I think it's a very powerful software. Although it's a very new software comparatively uh, when you compare it to Lightroom or Photoshop, but I think the features might excite you. Let's see what we're talking about. So when you open Luminar, you get this particular screen. What you see in the right hand side is very similar to Lightroom or Camera Raw or Capture One Pro you have all the similar sliders as you would get with any other image editing software, okay? This is nothing new. It's the same thing that you saw in the other softwares. But this software has certain different set of features, which again, you might like because it might make your image editing workflow a bit more smoother and a bit more quicker. So why I'm saying this is because you also have different kind of presets. So for example, if you want more presets, you can click here and it will take you a link. So from there, you can download more presets and you can also use presets. Like for example, if I like the look of Sky Enhancer, I can then again tweak the plugin. So you can use a plugin, you can tweak its settings. If you want the amount to be less, you can dial the amount to the amount that you want and you will get a preset look, but with your adjustments on it. So this is a software which can be used for raw editing as well. I'm not saying that this is as good as Capture One Pro or Lightroom for editing raw files, but it is comparatively a very good software because not only it has raw editing capabilities, but also you get different presets. So if you're a fan of presets, if you want something quicker, if you want something faster and easier, Try Luminar, okay? Try Luminar is again a very powerful software and if you feel uh, you're not happy with the software that you're using right now, switch to Luminar and see if it's helping out.
So all these softwares are great and what is the best depends on what kind of image editing do you need, what are you comfortable with. What do I do is I take the raw files in Capture One Pro or Adobe Lightroom, I slightly prefer Capture One Pro now. Then I color correct it, I correct the contrast, the exposure and then I bring it into Photoshop if I want to add some watermark or want to do more advanced manipulation, more advanced editing. I use Google Nick a lot for getting those local contrasts, for getting that dramatic look and that's it probably. I do not uh, use any other softwares. Most probably I feel these are the softwares that are very good right now for editing and I hope this video will help you to select the software that you need for your image editing. So I hope this video helped you to decide what software should you use for your image editing and if this video really helped you and if you really enjoyed the video, press the like button and subscribe to my channel. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.